We're happy to be joined by a couple of guests. We want to talk about air quality. When people watch the KXAN First Warning Weather Team forecast, they don't just keep an eye on the rain chances and the temperatures. Air quality is also a top concern, especially for those who have respiratory illnesses like asthma. Pollutants like ozone and fine particulate matter in the air can really make a difference in their day. So I'm so happy to be joined by you guys today. Welcome. We have Amanda Mortal, the Air Quality Program Manager with the City, and Bill Gibbs with Clean Air Force of Central Texas. Thank you both for being here. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. So Bill, let's talk about uh, our air quality in general. You over the years have helped me understand that Austin, for a major city, actually has great air quality. It does have the best air quality of any large city in, in America. We're so proud to say that, but we do have some bad days. What's the main pollutant that we worry about, and what does that actually mean for people who are affected? I laughed when you said about a bad hair day because even <laughs> Austin can have a bad air day ah. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's something that we live with but it's because of the hot weather and because of the dry weather and because of the growth that we're experiencing so we're uh, into a little bit of uncharted territory with new air quality issues. And those hot stagnant days which we're approaching in the summer can lead to ozone action days. Those can be a problem, right? Right, and ozone action days are basically a warning by the state that said, hey, the, a problem is going to pop up potentially. Uh, you need to learn how to deal with it. Sure. And, and, and Amanda, uh, the city is known for its sustainability. You're with the sustainability department. We have a chief sustainability officer. You guys have your eye on air quality. Yes. Tell me what the city is doing to help keep our clean air streak alive. Thank you. Well, the air quality doesn't just stop at the boundary of our city. So um, like, just like air quality, we have to collaborate um, with the other counties around us. And so we work with CAPCOB, Capital Area Council of Governments Clean Air Coalition. And we develop um, commitments to um, abide by and maintain the air quality. And part of those commitments involve spreading the word and making sure people know how to protect themselves and reduce their risk on air, bad air quality days. So when we have a bad air day, as you said, tell us what we can do. If somebody's watching at home, uh, maybe they're not affected by it, but they wanna be considerate of their neighbors. I know things like carpooling can be helpful, right? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yes, active transportation. So carpooling and biking and walking. Sure. Um, if you can remote work, that's another option um, that would reduce our air quality pollution. Um, also, so reducing our driving in general and then also reducing our electricity use because that might also um, create emissions. And also reducing our water use would actually reduce electricity use and cause less air pollution also. Reducing your electricity use because a power plant has to produce that electricity. Right. It's all connected, that's interesting. Uh, just to touch on ozone action days, these can be a big problem. And if we have a hot, dry summer, heaven forbid, uh, tell us how that happens. How, how does the sunny, hot weather lead to those bad ozone days? A lot of that, those chemicals are already in the air, but they're just sitting there. What the ozone hap happens because the sun cooks it mm. and creates a new chemical, which is ozone, which is uh, oxygen-3, and uh, that is what we want to avoid. It's, so it's the hot days that basically it's like a recipe where the ingredients are just laying around mm. until the, the heat is applied and the sun is applied and then all of a sudden we have an ozone problem. Okay, well we'll keep that in mind as we approach our ozone action season. Bill, Amanda, thank you guys for you coming. Bet.